is Katrina. Number 10. The Mananangal The police department in the Philippines recently had to get involved when a group of residents started making reports that a fearsome creature was roaming around their city. It happened in early February of 2023 in this small community of Talise. Two girls reported seeing an otherworldly monster perched atop a house. Witnesses say the creature had wings like a bat, but was big enough to be a human. In Philippine folklore, that sounds an awful lot like a mananangal. News of these sightings spread through the community and soon everyone was freaking out. Days after the initial sighting, more people started claiming they saw the creature in nearby towns. The creature had a head like a pig, the body of a human, and the wings of a demon. Rural communities began to seriously think they were being haunted by a mythological Mananangal. Local authorities tried to calm residents down. They said they were taking the incident seriously and would be hunting for whatever was seen lurking on the rooftops. But so far, they haven't had much luck finding it. The Mananangal is a creature similar to a witch, only she can detach her upper body from her lower body, grow wings, and fly around searching for prey. These creatures typically feast on pregnant women and their unborn babies. And while it may seem crazy to think of such a thing scaring an entire community in this day and age, there are many in the Philippines who believe in the creature. Number 9. The Honey Island Swamp Monster The Honey Island Swamp Monster is said to be a beast that lurks in the cypress trees and swampy waters of New Orleans, particularly in the Honey Island Swamp about 40 miles from the big city. It's one of the most famous local monsters and one that people have been seeing for years. Over the decades, multiple locals have come forward saying they witnessed a Bigfoot-like creature deep in the swamps. As far as anyone can tell, the sightings began in the 1960s. That was when people started seeing monsters, big, hairy beasts roaming through the swamps. In 1974, a man named Ford, an air traffic controller who sometimes dabbled in wildlife photography, witnessed the creature with his own eyes. He was exploring the swamp looking to take some pictures when the creature came out of nowhere. It passed by him through the trees, but Ford was so frightened he didn't get a good photo of it. In the 1980s, a deer hunter by the name of Hubert also saw the monster while sitting in an oak tree. He would later tell reporters that he witnessed a figure roughly 8 feet tall and totally covered in hair. The monster walked slowly beneath him and then disappeared into the swirling mist of the swamp. Do you believe the Honey Island Swamp Monster is real? And now for number 8, but first, it's shout out time! I want to say a big thank you to Travis Kent and Red Bear 420 for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about strange creature sightings. Number 8. Mokele Mbembe The Mokele Mbembe is the Loch Ness Monster of the Congo. Rumors of a prehistoric dinosaur living deep in the remote north of the Congo have been around for decades. The rumors were so prolific in the 1980s that multiple scientific expeditions fought their way through the wilderness to try and find Africa's mystery beast. Dr. Roy McCall from the University of Chicago was one of the scientists who led a pair of expeditions. It was believed the Mokele Mbembe was a large reptilian, kind of like a plesiosaur with a long neck, long tail, and living in an isolated lake. At least this was one description of the monster. Others said it was an herbivore with a horn that it used to impale elephants. It was compared more to a brontosaurus than the Loch Ness Monster. The only thing all eyewitnesses agreed upon was that the beast came from a long time before humanity. Dr. McCall never did find the reptilian, and to date, there have been over 50 expeditions into the region searching for it. Not a single expedition has found evidence of the creature except for one in 1776. That was when French missionaries found a massive footprint like that of a dinosaur in the mud. Some explorers have taken pictures, but they've all been fuzzy. The only thing we have a lot of are eyewitness testimonies. Paul Olin, a development worker who has been living in the community for over 10 years, says locals have no doubt about the monster's existence. For them, the Mokele Mbembe is a very real animal. What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments!
Number 7. The Snallygaster Maryland was one of the earliest places to be populated by European immigrants. The Germans started arriving in Baltimore in the 17th century, and by the 1730s it had a largely German population. During that time, the early pilgrims in Maryland found themselves terrorized by a creature that supposedly inhabited the woods and hills outside what are now the Washington and Frederick counties. The creature was said to be a dragon-like beast, which the Germans named the Snallygaster. We know from historical accounts that the German immigrants were utterly horrified by the Snallygaster. They painted red hexes on their barns to ward away the creature, and many refused to even say its name. When many Germans moved from Maryland into Pennsylvania, they took tales of the Snallygaster with them. Modern sightings came in the 1920s. That's hardly modern, but that was the last time anyone saw a huge, blood-sucking reptile with wings, sharp claws, and a beak in the wilderness of Maryland. Many described it as a green dragon with scales and everything. People living in Frederick County at the beginning of the 20th century said they saw the creature flying through the sky, and that after it passed, there was a horrible smell like sulfur. There were also reports of the monster kidnapping people to suck their blood. And finally, a group of lumberjacks said they came across its nest on the side of a high cliff, and that in its nest was an egg big enough to hold a fully grown horse. Number 6. The Chernobyl Bird In 1986, disaster struck Ukraine when the Chernobyl power plant experienced a meltdown. On April 26th, the number 4 reactor inside the nuclear power plant malfunctioned. It was because of a design flaw which resulted in increased reactor activity, rupturing fuel channels. There was a sudden decrease in pressure, coolant turned to steam, and the reactor became wildly unstable. This all happened very quickly, and the feedback loop was too much for the engineers to stop. Steam explosions melted the reactor core. There was a fire, and radioactive contaminants were blown into the atmosphere. The nearby town of Pripyat had to be abandoned, and over 200 workers were hospitalized, the majority of which suffered from acute radiation syndrome. Many died in the following months. Now, you may be wondering why I'm talking about Chernobyl, and it's because the explosion of the nuclear reactor is linked directly to the bizarre sighting of a large black bird. On the day of the meltdown, Witnesses saw a bird-like creature hovering in the sky near the power plant. It wasn't just a bird, but a huge bird at least the size of a person. In the weeks and months that followed, many reported experiencing nightmares in which they saw that same giant black bird. Many believe the bird was a harbinger of doom, coming to the power plant because it knew there would be a disaster. Some have even speculated the black bird caused the disaster. They've likened it to the famous Mothman, believed to be responsible for the Point Pleasant disaster in 1967. Number 5. The Lariosauro The Lariosauro is a lake monster supposedly dwelling in Italy's Lake Como, about 30 miles from the city of Milan. The lake is one of the deepest in Europe, going down 1,300 feet in some places. It's no surprise, then, that the locals believe a massive monster is keeping itself hidden in those dark and gloomy depths. The legend of the Ladio Sauro began in 1949, when a group visiting the lake saw a monster. They reported witnessing an animal kind of like a crocodile, or maybe like a prehistoric marine reptile. This creature was just swimming around and minding its own business, and then it ducked underneath the waves, and they never saw it again. The monster was named after the Lariosaurus balsami, a prehistoric beast whose fossilized remains were discovered a century earlier. When the press got a hold of the story, they labeled it a hoax. Scientists came out to say it was nothing but a sturgeon that the eyewitnesses saw, a really big fish. There was no monster, just some people with overactive imaginations. But then there were more sightings. The creature was witnessed in 1954, again in 1957, and another time in 2003. The 2003 sighting may have just been a really big eel, but those who saw it said it was nearly 39 feet long. Number 4. Appalachian Monster A woman from Appalachia recently shared a story of how she came face to face with a supernatural being. 
The story was told only by the woman involved, so we don't have any other evidence to back up her case. We just have to take her word for it. According to the woman, she was out walking her dog late at night when the incident occurs. Everything was pretty normal, except that she found it weirdly quiet outside. There was no noise from insects, there wasn't any wind, and she couldn't hear any traffic coming from the nearby road. And then her dog freaked out, yanking the woman along by its leash as it tried desperately to go back home. Not wanting to argue with the animal's instincts, the woman ran home with her. They got inside, slammed the door shut, and moments later, something smashed into the door behind them. I should mention that the whole time they were running back to the house, the woman had the creepiest sense that something was chasing them. But when she looked out of the peephole, there was nothing there. Could this have been a real sighting of a strange creature? Or just a bear? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number 3. Deloy's Ape In 1917, on the border of Venezuela and Colombia, Swiss geologist Francois Deloy's shot and killed an unknown creature. It became known as the Deloy's Ape, or Loy's Ape, and we still have no idea as to what it was. The creature looked an awful lot like a hominin. It was more like an extremely early relative of Homo sapiens than a monkey. It didn't have a monkey tail. It possessed 32 teeth and it had extremely strange facial features. It almost looked like what you would expect the missing link to look like, that elusive creature between humans and primates. Francois was leading an expedition team in search of oil when he encountered the ape. Two creatures supposedly approached his group aggressively. Francois only managed to kill one, and the other escaped into the jungle. When Francois returned to Switzerland, he didn't tell anyone about what he saw. It wasn't until 1929 that the photos he took of the mysterious monster were found. And finally, Francois admitted to what happened. It was such a big deal in scientific circles that the incident was published in real journals. Scientist Georges Montadon even tried to give the creature a scientific name, though the French Academy of Sciences wouldn't allow it. Anthropologist Sir Arthur Keith argued the photograph only depicted a rare species of spider monkey. This put a big hiccup in naming the animal officially. None of the scientists could agree on what kind of creature was in the photograph, and nobody ever saw one again. For that reason, we still have no idea what the Deloy's ape really was. Number 2. Bigfoot Bigfoot may have just been sighted in Michigan thanks to an observation camera watching an eagle nest. The camera was placed high up in a tree to watch the eagle nest so that people could see in real time the baby eagles hatching. But in the peripheral corner of the footage, some eagle-eyed viewers spotted a mysterious dark shape. The dark shape looked an awful lot like a large human, something big and hairy walking across the forest floor. It moved with clearly human movements, swaying its arms and thrusting its legs forward and yet it was completely covered in thick, dark fur. Because the camera was focused on the nest, it was impossible to see the figure clearly. Still, many are saying this could be real evidence of Bigfoot. There have been no good scientific excuses for what was witnessed on the camera. Some have suggested it could have been a man in an ape suit trying to trick everybody by walking beneath the camera. But that seems pretty unlikely. Bigfoot enthusiasts say the government is hiding proof of their existence because such monsters could contradict science. If there really is a group of Bigfoot humanoid animals roaming North America, that could change history. Number 1. A strange creature Yet another unusual creature was spotted thanks to a camera. This time the creature was seen at a zoo in Amarillo, Texas. The city shared photographs of the monster in question on social media saying the images were captured early in the morning on May 21st. The creature was seen walking like a human, but looking very much like an animal. The city reached out to its population for help identifying whatever was picked up by their cameras. Some suggested it was a chupacabra, others said it may have been an alien who came down to observe the zoo under the cover of darkness. Michael Kashuba from the Parks and Recreation Department told CBS News that the cameras are pointed at an empty park outside the zoo. This is a place that does not receive heavy traffic and where you wouldn't expect wild animals to be roaming around. But even after the city reached out to everyone, nobody could come up with a reasonable answer for what was seen. 
People only had ridiculous ideas like werewolves or skinwalkers. And yet whatever the camera picked up was definitely unusual, lumbering around on two legs and looking kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. Thanks for watching. Do you believe in any of these mysterious cryptids? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and come back soon. Bye!